Hey, what's going on everybody? JP here from Wanda to Get Lost. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing an RV upgrade and installing new ceiling lights into our RV. And I got these off of Amazon. They're the Miyadi LED lights. So stick around and we'll tackle this project together. everybody so we have the original ceiling lights in our RV and they are um, two bulbs on either side and originally I guess when this came out in 2008 they had an incandescent bulb on each side and the previous owners to us had to replace them with the LED bulbs but they were still pretty dim so after doing some research and uh, shopping around uh, I found the Miyadi uh, LED ceiling light off of Amazon. Now I already installed these underneath the storage unit that we built over our driver and passenger seat and they've been working out great and then we've decided now to start slowly upgrading each light in our RV as these provide much better light quality. So I'll go over some of the specs of this light. I'll show you how you can change the settings on the light and then we'll get into the install. I will also put a link to our Amazon store for these lights so that you can check them out yourself. Uh, the Miyadi LED ceiling light, uh, the power is 10 watts, uh, lumens are 1500, it has an operation, operating voltage of 10 to 30 volts, and you have five brightness settings. So it starts at 20%, next setting is 40, then 60, 80, and 100% course for your brightest and it has three temperature settings uh, 3500 Kelvin warm white 4500 Kelvin natural white and 6500 Kelvin cold white so you have three settings to choose from so behind me you can see that I've already installed one here on the ceiling and we've slowly been going through the process of now swapping them all out and I'll show you how easy it is to operate all right, so here they are the control switches. This is your power switch. The power switch will also change your temperature setting of the light. Here you have brightness uh, adjustability for going to 100% or down to 20%. So it's pretty simple. All right, I'll show you here. So I hit the power button and you'll see the light change, hopefully. I think this is cold white. Maybe this is cold white. And now this is more of a yellowish. And then we can do the temperature setting. Now it gets a little brighter, brighter here. And that's 100% right there. So you can see, maybe we'll be able to see a little better on the, the cool. How's that? Yeah, so we actually like this setting right here is the one that we found and we actually um, keep it about there unless it's like really dark and we want some extra light in here to do projects or uh, any homeschool activities. So this seems to work for us. The other cool thing is our stretch here in the living room, we have two lights connected. When the other night we were watching a movie, we wanted to have a little bit of light on in the back, but still keep it dark for around the TV for the movie. What you're able to do is if you just hold down the power button, you can actually turn that off while the other light is still on, which I thought was pretty cool. And then you hit the power button and it comes back on. The other great thing is that when we use our switch and you flip it back on, it remembers the setting that you had it on prior to flipping the switch. So you don't have to come back and reset it to what your preference was, which is really awesome. Other than that, installation is pretty simple. We're gonna install one here in the front, and then uh, that should be about it. it. Should take us about five minutes. It's super easy. All right, here we go. All right, everybody, here's our old light. As you can see, it's a pop-off cover, and there's lots of dead bugs in here because they get in here. And then you can see it has the double, double light up here. 
Uh, I have six screws in this one to take out, so we have to do that. Remove this old light. The other thing, this is on a 12 volt system, so as long as the switch is off, we won't have power going to the power on here. So I'm gonna get my screw gun, we'll unscrew this, and then we'll get ready to install. Here we have our wires. We're just gonna snip them off. Like so. So the other good thing about this light from Yadi is that there is no dedicated power or ground. So you could actually hook the red up to your ground and it would still work. You could hook the black up to the ground, it would still work. Uh, I always just always hook up red to power. And I know from all the wiring I've done in this Winnebago that the yellow line is the power line. So um, it comes pre strip so that's good on that side another thing is they do give you two wire nuts so you can make your connection these guys so I'm just going to strip these two wires save the day. I'm going to hit the power switch and then we'll test it and make sure it turns on before we actually screw it up into the ceiling. Oh, there we go. See that? Light. Then we'll just turn it down so we don't blind ourselves. There we go. Alright, now we're just going to mount this up onto the ceiling. It does come with four mounting screws, so that's good. I'm just gonna tuck these wires up into the existing hole. That way it's easy to flush mount it. And then we're gonna screw that up, just like so. Believe it or not, this is actually the hardest process, especially doing this by yourself, is getting this mounted. piece it does come with these corner pieces that snap in that's just going to finish off here and they pop in and out just to hide the screw heads so all right that is it very simple to install all right, everybody, so that was it. As you can see, very simple install, and these lights are really good. The one thing I also like about them is how slim they are uh, when mounted onto the ceiling as opposed to the original light. So here's the original light. And you can see next to this one how much further down it comes as opposed to this one. The other thing I really like is it doesn't have this removable cover, so bugs don't go in there to die, and then you have to clean this out the whole time. So. It's just flat, sealed up, awesomeness. All right, everybody, as I said before, in the beginning, I will put a link to our Amazon store where you can check these out. They do sell them in a single pack or a double pack. If you buy the double pack, I think you save like three or four bucks. But right now, I have the two that's under our shelf storage, and now we have the three here in the main living room area and the kitchen area so this section is done eventually I'll be doing the hallway the bedroom and probably the bathroom so yeah almost there and we're really happy with these lights if you have any questions or comments leave them down below 
as always thank you so much for watching and thank you to our subscribers and if you haven't subscribed please do we make some cool videos and uh we show what it's like to live full time in our rv all right everybody stay lost and i'll see you on the next video